Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, the food experience is back with yours truly, KJ Andy O. Today's experience, I have a Reaper Brownie from Linda's Fiery Treats.com. They cost $4. You could get them by going to Linda's Fiery Treats.com. I'll go ahead and post a link in the description down below, making it easy for you guys to navigate there and pick one of these up today. So let's take a look at the label. Triple X Hot Reaper Brownies, and it includes flour, sugar, dark Dutch cocoa, palm oil, cornstarch, fresh reapers, chocolate chips, butter, eggs, vanilla, coffee, cinnamon, reaper pepper powder, and salt. Oh man, all kinds of goodness. I'm not sure about the cinnamon in here, but um, everything else sounds pretty on point. Maybe there's not much cinnamon since it's at the kind of end of the ingredients. And don't get me wrong, I love cinnamon, but never really had it in a brownie before, at least not that I know of. So let's go ahead and open this up. And I want to give a big shout out to Linda for including this as an extra in an order I recently placed. Really appreciate that. So it's wrapped once and then it's wrapped twice. Oh, that smells really good. Very chocolatey. I definitely could smell the Reapers just a little bit. Not too heavy, but just a little bit. And that's the good thing about chocolate and cocoa. It kind of masks the Reaper a little bit. So let's go ahead and do a bite. Mmm. Boy, is this good. Oh, yeah, there we go. The heat's coming. It is rich, chocolatey. I don't really notice the cinnamon presence. The Reapers are kicking in now, though. I'll tell you what. It's fairly soft, though I have been sitting on it for a little while. Got me by the throat a little bit. This is a delicious treat. Really is. It's not too big, though. Not very thick. I want to say um, a little bit less than a half inch, maybe. Definitely delicious. Got a slight mouth burn from it. I will say, um, her other treats, I've ordered her um, pecan brittle, it's amazing. Triple X um, jam and strawberry jam, amazing. Uh, the candied cashews, amazing. Like everything I've had from her is amazing. This is no exception. So where am I at right now? Okay, so on a heat level scale of 1 to 10, I'm feeling it on my tongue, feeling it on my throat, making the top of my head sweat a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, that throat, I tell you. Uh, for me, it's like a 2 out of 10 in heat, okay? Uh, maybe just a little bit higher than that. It's still building a little bit. But yeah, my whole tongue, I can feel it. The throat, the sweat. Uh, no happy tears or anything like that. So yeah, I'm at a comfortable 2 out of 10 with this, okay? Now, for the person that's not a chili head, if you were to eat one of these... Um, I would say I would gauge it anywhere between like a 7 and 10 out of heatness, okay? Depending on what your heat level is and what your tolerance is. For people that love spicy foods, but you don't chase the heat or, you know, go after the super hots, um, this is probably going to put you between a 3 and a 5, you know? It just really depends on your tolerance and what you're accustomed to. But um, definitely, don't get me wrong, this definitely has some heat to it. Definitely is super tasty. And um, yeah, I mean, definitely double thumbs up on this. I totally recommend it. Go check it out at lindasfierytreats.com. So that about sums up my review. 
If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to drop me a line below and I'll get back to you in a timely manner. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. What do you got to lose? I got all kinds of food related things coming up. I go over so much different things. So that being said, we are going to buzz out of here. Have a fantastic and stellar day. Be excellent to each other. And most of all, remember me. I am KJ Andy O, your food experience host with the most. Take care, my fine folks, and I'll see you next time. Laters.